comment, and subscribe, and please turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Let's get into it. What we're going to talk about, we talk about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is used permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. And don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. And thank you for your love and support. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. We're going to go through several clips in regards to Nene is not holding back. She's talking about people in the industry. She talked about Claudia Jordan. She talked about Giselle and Robin. She talked about Kim Kardashian, how she was planted to help and assist, and then Kim's career took off. I told y'all, the Kardashians love to be around people that can boost their career. So let's get to what she had to say about Claudia Jordan. One, she's basically saying, Nene Leakes calls out Claudia Jordan, basically stating she admits that she was one of the biggest battles on the show. She said when Claudia would come for her, she would have to have her shade comments and ready under her wig which i don't know if that's true or not if there really was jokes under her wig but she said she always had to come prepare because the one biggest thing claudia was not going to play with her claudia was going to come and she was going to come hard and she felt that claudia should have a peach kept a peach she should still be on that show she said that's the only one person <laughs> she could not breathe right when claudia Claudia was around. She was cracking me up. So let, we're going to go through several clips. Let me know what you feel about each person she's talking about. Was she right? Was she wrong? Is this ruffling feathers and people are going to feel away? Are people going to say this is so messy? You're not giving any kudos to anybody, allegedly, but Claudia calling some people starless. <laughs> Let's get to it. Let's go, y'all. Claudia Jordan. Starless. <laughs> Who won between you and Claudia in Puerto Rico? Um, I'm always the winner. <laughs> and uh, so I obviously won. Um, but I will give Claudia this. Although she said the most nastiest things about me, and she's been holding on to a grudge for 100,000 years. I would have to give, I'm going to give her this. I've read many of girls, honey, and I've been on this show with many girls. I would have to say that she was probably my number one battle. Bitch. She was definitely, she was definitely right up there to battle with. Yeah. I don't think that has not been one other girl that could probably battle the way she did because I took her through it and I feel like she took me through it. And, uh, so. So let me know in the comments how you feel. She actually gave somebody praise. Because you figure this is the one thing. You cannot lie that Nene works well with the TV. She's quick wit. She's funny. She's likable. She's going to tell the truth. She's going to give shade. And she has no problem giving you a compliment if you did that. She talked about the girls wiping the Real Housewives of Atlanta girls away, starting with the new cast. Hopefully her and Carlos are going to work together. So let's get to the next clip. And I liked it. What club was that at? <laughs> <laughs> I have to be careful playing their clip. So let's get to the next clip. Uh -huh. um, so I'm going to say some names. And I want you to tell me if they're stars or starless. Um, Giselle Bryant. Starless. Robin Dixon. Starless. Kenya Moore. Um, in between. Star his. To be bigger than Kim Kardashian. Okay, we're gonna get to this, but I have to stop it, play it, stop it, play it. I have to give commentary between the two. Now, this is when she goes in, and I told y'all, this is when she goes in and saying that they 
planted and put them two together, Nene started off first. I told y'all the K's and the J's want to connect themselves, who's trending, who's doing well to boost their career. They've done it for years. Many people say no and just check back. You're going to see that I'm, gonna, I'm telling you, you're going to see that Kim is trending with people that are trending. People are calling her stalkerish. You're trending. She'll fly out to meet with you. She'll fly out to be at a basketball game, at a soccer game. If you're a, a hot um, musician, she wants to go and fly to your concert. She wants to trend with herself, her friends. She wants to trend with Tristan. People are saying it's getting kind of weird now. So over the next six months to a year, we're going to see her try to save the show by being near people that are trending. This is the this is the this is the bad part about it. They're having their moment and they're having their shine. And Kim doesn't want nobody to be bigger than her. She don't want nobody trending more so than her. So if your name is gonna trend, she wants her name next to it a week or a week after. I want to trend with you because when my name gets pulled up, my name's gonna be pulled up with yours. Weird. Let's listen in. giving should be bigger than kim kardashian absolutely if not bigger right there with her uh i felt like they pushed kim and they didn't push me uh kim came on after me and uh they opened up every door and every opportunity for her even putting us together at times and and making her you know much more bigger and that's always chris plan which is sad because someone can be famous, they're having their moment, their PR team is working extremely hard, and then here comes Kim following behind, saying, I know you want to shine, but I'm going to shine with you too. I don't want nobody bigger than me. I don't want the media talking about nobody outside of me. This is weird. Stalkerish, I've been telling y'all that for the last six months. Now, this is the other thing. If you see other people using my talking points, using my comments, let me know in the comments. I see it. Pretty soon, I'm going to call them out because I am a smaller channel. Some of these other channels are larger channels and they don't know how to have talking points. They don't know how to have uh, shade words. They use a lot of my stuff to trend and that's what's making me mad. And it's like, I've been, I tell y'all stuff, I show y'all stuff and I show you proof. So I've been telling y'all for the last six months, eight months, Kim wants to trend with whoever's trending, which is weird. Her team will put her in a position to trend with that person. Why not? It's kind of weird. Why not let that person have their moment? You've had your moment for what? 15 years, 20 years. And then Kim is getting called out for allegedly trying to push the kids into the media. So that way they will have a following. And, they're, and people are saying, Kim, they're too young. Kim, they're too young. Let them grow up. Let them be 17, 18 so they can make a decision if they want to do that. So then she's trying to turn with her kids. She's a mom of four. But sometimes she likes to go out because she knows Saint's going to get the attention. But she doesn't want to bring the other child. She doesn't want to bring Chicago. She doesn't want to bring North. Everyone has their moment where she wants to turn with them. North, the TikTok thing, the Ice of Ice thing, she was called out. But then she's getting called out, the Saint thing, she's getting called out. Many people are saying, you know, you're getting these jerseys and then you're putting on media that you got the jersey to trend. And many people say, let somebody else get that signature and post that they got it. But no, Kim wants to trend about it. Hello, the, um, the Usher concert, she went twice. The Adele concert. And then she trended with Katy Perry, putting North on the stage. I'm telling you, she is obsessed with the media. Together at times and, and making.